Hey guys, recording some Magic the Gathering. Uh, just restarted the recording because I wanted to make sure I didn't have the camera on because it screws up the audio sometimes and I wasn't going to be using the camera feed anyway. Oh, I'm a little bit too uh, tired and stuff for cameraing. Something like that. Anyway, it looks like we're playing the Burning Vengeance Mirror, so this should be horribly boring, and eventually I win. Man, other people play this matchup just absolutely terribly, from what I've seen. Uh, this is not a good start, though. So I need to start digging for my lap. Uh, one copy of Natural Eyes. In the main. He's just gonna slowly kill me. Ah, good times, good times. I'd rather not let two resolve, most likely. I really have any like comments on the format at this point or anything. Just gonna play some games. Uh, whoops. Ideally, we will make land drops because I think if there's anything important in this matchup, it is that you never ever hit, never ever miss a land drop. Like missing the land drop there, I think, is way more important than the fact that he is a burning vengeance in play. like counter spells up and stuff. Just on the whole not very good for me. I I don't think there's a play other than to try to flash this back here and hit a land. Okay, it resolves somehow. I'm a fan of that. But yeah, I have this problem where he's just going to burn me out and kill me. It's a fairly serious problem. I should really, like, stop playing foil copies of cards that I have two of and stuff like that. Unless I can get all the copies to be foil. It's just a sensible thing to do. Which I am not doing. Playing a basic forest and traveler's amulet? Wow. And manor gargoyle? What? I'm a little confused by what's going on right now. It looks like this is not uh, a very normal burning vengeance build, to say the least. I don't know what he's really gaining by like playing manor gargoyle. Traveler's Amulet. Yeah, it doesn't seem very good, basically. Maybe I've dissipated that thing twice. Should probably have at least considered it. I think I'd rather have the dissipate up on his turn, though. Uh, the hope is to cast Dissipate and Forbidden Alchemy on my next turn and find my Singleton Naturalize, kill his Burning Vengeance. And from there, hopefully, I'll be pretty fine. Maybe he, like, can't afford a real mana base? He's not even playing cards that, like... <laughs> I mean, there aren't cards that cost money that he's not playing. He appears to actually think that he needs to play Traveler's Amulets to make the mana work or something. Which is puzzling, to say the least. Let's do this. Right, let's take an island. At least we get a land drop. Let's keep digging. It's 
like Desperate Ravings is just better here than this thing twice in every way. Even if I draw the Naturalizing discarded, I have two Snapcaster Mages in hand. Alright, we got there. We did discard the Dissipate though, so I'm gonna wait until he taps down low to hit his Burning Vengeance. Really miss. Really wish that I had made that land drop way back on turn 5 or whenever it was that I missed. We're okay with taking a little damage for a while if he decides he wants to leave Dissipate up. I think leaving Dissipate up here just handicaps him so heavily. Like, it wastes so much of his mana. Um, Eventually, I just expect it to, you know, result in bad things happening to him. Um, so I need to draw a land, but basically what I think is going to happen here is he's going to let this resolve, then dissipate my dissipate. After he dissipates my dissipate, I'm gonna untap against his tapped out board. I'm gonna get to cast, I think, twice before then. And then I should be able to naturalize, snapcaster, naturalize. He'll be down to just the one copy of Burning Vengeance left in his deck. Although, he's playing so many dirtly cards, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he had Memory's Journey or something. Okay, looks like actually he doesn't fight that. Which I think is interesting. Um, so, like, I can still make that play. I can now, like, naturalize and snapcaster a dissipate. There is one in my yard. With this deck, I sort of just assume that there's a dissipate there for me which is maybe irresponsible, but there usually is. And I'm going to leave all of my blue up. Because blue seems important here. It's all about the main deck naturalized, man. Yeah, this deck, in a lot of matchups, you just get so deep into your deck that one-offs become hugely relevant, especially a one-off with such utility as Naturalize, or... Yeah, I think Naturalize is the best example, because, like, Blasphemous Act is a one-off that's cool, but it's mainly useful for matchups where you don't get that deep in your deck. Naturalize the matchups where it really shines, you're regularly drawing 40 cards or something, so just having that one card becomes extremely valuable. Play land, then play Traveler's Amulet, like you do. Don't break the Traveler's Amulet, though. It's hard to say how I'm doing at this point, because I don't really understand what he's doing. Um, Playing bad cards seems to be what he's doing. He may try to uh, like drown yard me out. That could be sort of sexy, but I would be surprised. It's certainly not the obvious play. Flashback, a okay, forbidden alchemy. I don't think I want to fight that, but I will tank for a while to uh, telegraph that I have some sort of counter spell. Three swamps. I'm really a little bit confused by his deck. Mana Gargoyle here would be sort of irritating, to be fair, to Mana Gargoyle. I guess I have Silent Departure two times in my yard. But I mean, I would have to like cast the Silent Departures or something. He 
you're just gonna go for massive devil's play. See, uh, this play is not good. This is not what you want to be doing in this matchup at all. Spell that, thank you. So I still have how many copies of Burning Vengeance? Three, I think. So I should be like drawing some of those some point in the near future. The not so distant future. This is awkward, I actually am out of dissipates as well as having no burning vengeances. Uh, I don't think that I like try to draw a main phase all the same. I could have uh, Devil's played him back, actually. That might have been the best play, since then if he taps out, he's dead to my other Devil's play. It sort of turns off all his Devil's plays for the, the rest of the game. But I guess I missed that. It seems sort of obvious in retrospect. I feel sort of dumb. Olivia, Olivia, my oh my. Um, well, she's pretty much absolutely irrelevant, right? Has to be another target creature, yeah. Not too worried about her. So let's see, let's uh, start with a think twice. Maybe we bait a counter spell somehow, no. Let's go for this forbidden alchemy. White what we wanted, but at least we have it. Uh, okay. Just get rid of Liv. Is it alright if I call you Liv? really hoping that he tries to fight this <laughs> or like taps low to do something weird or something. That's the, the hope in making this plan. Looks like he still has five up though unfortunately. Oh wow I'm bad at uh, magic. <laughs> uh, absolutely god awful at magic. Just wanted something to do with that Geist Flame. That's what's going on. And he's going to try to fight this one. He's going to think twice. But leave up mana. Okay, I'm not gonna run the Burning Vengeance into Dissipate here. I'm in an awkward spot still. Uh, he doesn't have much in his yard, fortunately. I have like one think twice, devil's play. Oh, he now has a forbidden alchemy. That's no good. Let's see if I can hit a little that bingo. So he can like tap out for devil's play here and probably will. God, I'm just playing this terribly. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's gonna have to deal the last couple of points somehow though, right? Five, eleven? Yes, exactly the last couple. Uh, I am bad, I feel bad. I should feel bad. Yikes. It's not like I like couldn't see that coming or anything either. Um, on the bright side, if he has absolutely nothing, I'll be able to kill him next turn. He has to, like, 
really have absolutely nothing, though. It seems unlikely that I win. Man, what am I thinking? I don't know. Thinking to her. Like, paint thinner. Um... It's interesting. So we're, like, going all out here for Curse of Death's Hold? <laughs> Curse of Death's Hold doesn't seem like it even improves the matchups that you would want it for. I don't really understand what's going on in this deck. I assume it gets a lot better against me post-board, unfortunately. for Devil's Play. That's pretty much fine by me, I think. I'm gonna leave out Mana, and I'm pretty sure I have Lethal next turn, even if he keeps leaving stuff up. I assume he's just digging for Dissipate. Or something like that. A second win condition seems hard for me, for sure. Uh, Dice Flame, Desperate Ravings. I have him at four right now at instant speed. that hits players too or something. Didn't seem like quite the spell that you wanted to cast there. I guess he thought it hit players too. He's now like <laughs> thinking about what he did <laughs> what he just did a little bit. Go for the Devil's Play. Makes sense. I only have one option. dead yet. There's one red. I'm actually still alive here. Hmm. Let's see. Next turn, I'm going to attack him. If he casts Geist Flame on Snapcaster, he's dead. Because I can Devil's Play. Otherwise, I'll be able to Devil's Play for 7. And respond somehow if he... Hmm. I'm just wondering, if he's holding Burn here, can I kill him? in response to his burn if he decides to get cute and get around a second dissipate somehow if that's what he's trying to do uh, I think I can and I don't see any problem at all with just trying that because I definitely have lethal right? I have forbidden alchemy flashback as well, yeah so I have lethal against um, instant speed burn to my face whatever he does. Or I have lethal if he doesn't have instant speed burned to my face. That's what I meant to say. Okay, 
so how about we do what? We're like one land short. What if we devils play him for like zero out of the yard? Yeah, this should get him. That seems like a while ago. And now if he has a response to this, I can Desperate Ravings twice and just kill him while he has lethal damage to my face on the stack. Alright, uh, tried my best to lose that one. So, against these guys... I'm boarding in some different one ofs I'm boarding up on Forbidden Alchemies, I'm taking out all these Silent Departures, the Geist Flames, the Blasphemous Act, and Rolling Tumbler. I think I'm just keeping the Brimstone Volley, and I don't think I want Ancient Grudge. I have one an Ancient Grudge here. I want minus one Naturalized, plus one Ancient Grudge. It seemed good since so often the target was Witchbane Orb. But in this particular matchup, the target is going to be Burning Vengeance, and if he does have Witchbane Orbs, um, I'll be able to kill them with Naturalizes. So... Yeah, it looks about right. There's nothing on the board that I really want. Is there anything in the deck that I really don't want? I don't think so. Probably three Devil's Play is too much for this matchup. I don't know what I would be playing instead. Like a Geist Flame? Let's try that. Runic Repetition plus Memory's Journey is like overwhelmingly cute and fiddly, but I think it's actually very powerful when you're getting into matchups where Witchbane Orb is a thing and naturalizes on Burning Vengeances and all these dissipates everywhere. Uh, Runic Repetition and Memory's Journey, as long as uh, neither one gets dissipated, which is a little bit to ask, are going to let you just constantly not deck yourself. So you can keep on casting Memory's Journey and flashing it back and then casting Rune of Repetition to get your Memory's Journey back. You just put everything in your yard that you want back into your deck as the last three cards, draw them, and then do it again. And you can get two runic repetitions per cycle, so you can get back a memory's journey and a flashback something, like a think twice, if you want to speed up the process. Let's go game two. Um, that's a really risky hand. I played 26 land. So, 75% of the time... Pretty much I'm going to be hitting Desperate Ravings, and once you hit Desperate Ravings, it's pretty hard to miss a land drop. It's a very good hand otherwise. I'm going to try it. 25% uh, of the time, I'm like just sort of going to lose here. So, that's unfortunate. But I think the hand's good enough that I'm okay with playing for the 75% of the time that I hit. Which is not this time, unfortunately. Uh, let's just bin or runic repetition. Seems like the slowest card here. It's not doing anything on the bright side. Oh, there isn't really a bright side. Let's show them all of my situational one drops. Or one offs. Do play 26, right? Yeah. Alright, so we gave him two time walks. But we're back in the game now. 
Anytime that he taps out... Well, I'm gonna see what happens first. Dub's memory's journey? That seems... pretty unnecessary. Okay, we're gonna start making some land drops now. That's the good news. I wonder if he's planning on casting those targeting me or something. Doesn't seem very good. I guess it fizzles Snapcaster. Sort of. It is sort of good against Snapcaster, actually. Yeah, one reason that Memory's Journey is making the cut along with Runic Repetition is that I think Memory's Journey is actually quite often just a fine card. Like, out of the sideboard against a reanimator type strategy, it seems quite powerful, for example. I should probably have gone for Ravings then. No, I don't mind if he blows a counterspell on Ravings end of turn at this point. In fact, that sounds pretty appealing. He should be, um... He should be casting stuff pretty frantically to try to hit his land drop, because missing your land drop here is no good if you are that guy. No good at all. Uh, I'm going to be discarding, and I guess I'm going to be discarding a Snapcaster. Snapcaster seems not the best when he has double memories journey in his yard. So, given that he's stumbling, we're gonna punish. Gonna do that, and then we're gonna untap and cast Burning Vengeance. And see what he can do about it, basically. A pretty good land to draw. I guess nobody uses this part of the uh, table in this matchup, so that's an okay place to put things, probably. What's going on? Burning Vengeance, huh? No reason to cast Naturalize while he has Dissipate up. There's no way he can ever keep Dissipate up forever. So, yeah, I can just cast it now, for example. I wonder how many copies of Drown Yard he plays. Could be that it's just a singleton, he's just drawn it two games in a row, but I wonder if he's trying to play two, which would be a little greedy, in my opinion. Discarding a Naturalize, and drawing a Shimmering Grotto. It's ironic. Tapping your Shimmering Grotto for a Traveler's Amulet. It's also sort of ironic. I don't know in which way that's actually ironic. I think I just like the word. Um, getting very aggressive with these dissipates. I don't think that the way he's using those is very good. I'm just gonna alchemy right here. I don't want him to catch alchemy with a dissipate terribly. Uh, let's take the Burning Vengeance and cast it. Ah, uh, yeah. It's sort of a gross play to be making. Uh, I guess I haven't seen Snapcasters from him, which seems pretty bad, by the way. Seems a lot worse of a play to be making if I've seen Snapcasters. Whatever, it doesn't seem that bad either way.
like he can naturalize one or he can naturalize two even, but he's not going to change the situation too much that he does that. I'm still uh, quite a long way ahead, I think, just based on... I don't know. I feel quite a long way ahead. I may not actually be that far ahead. Didn't he miss land drops or something? He has eight and I have eight next turn. Yeah, okay, I guess I'm not very far ahead. Is he gonna like get rid of my three flashback spells? That would be a good play. Uh, I probably shouldn't have let him do that. Clever. What? He got rid of Forbidden Alchemy despite me not having a black source and it costing forever to actually cast that spell. Uh, the problem with what he just did is that it means that I have a bunch of gas in my deck. But... Like, when I hit two lands in a row there, it's pretty damn bad for me. I may just be in a spot where I'm dead at this point. I'm using F2, by the way. Are you guys proud of me? I could maybe even take off the combat steps while playing this deck, but I'm not going to. I'm too used to them. At least I, like, still have mana, and he, for some reason, is not tapping all of his every turn. That's what happened, right? He, like, didn't tap all of his mana last turn. I'm pretty sure. But, yeah. I'm, I'm just floundering here. Definitely not playing well. It's a tough matchup to play. What do you want me to do? Play better? That's unreasonable. Okay. He lands a Burning Vengeance. Yes, sir. And another Traveler's Amulet. I wonder how many mana sources he ends up having. He, like, played that over leaving up enough money for... <laughs> money? Money. Mana. For Forbidden Alchemy. But I guess he's just gonna double Desperate Ravings, which seems fine. Uh, obviously... I could have, at some point not drawn a land, but he appears to have decided to leave Dissipate up forever, which I still think is very bad. Um, but even if I draw Desperate Ravings or Think Twice, I'm just not going to cast it. He's just like, losing three mana a turn to do this. And yeah, eventually he does tap out, so <laughs> he didn't even accomplish anything with his play. If I had drawn one of those cards, I would just cast it now. Clock is super relevant here, by the way. business, sort of. <coughs> Excuse me. That was me doing the sneezing. I mean, probably we're not actually, to be honest. Uh, if you guys were forbidden alchemy here, I get to, like, flashback, uh... Not much. Flashback and naturalize. We'll slow him down, I guess. It might, might not actually slow him down. Even. Let's go for it. All the same. Should probably have let him resolve the Forbidden Alchemy first. Seems obviously correct. Do get to do two damage to him. So it's a moral victory. 
as opposed to an actual victory, which would happen if I played well. Slash better, maybe. Parentheses. Um, he still has a Devil's Play in his yard. It looks like I die to it this turn if he decides to cast it. Alright, we're just gonna like randomly show me that for no reason. Like, just choosing to kill me may have been the superior play there. But now he cannot be targeted. Possibly he can even kill my Snapcaster Mage here. He's playing fine. There's very little, like, game theoretical reason to try to kill me quickly here since he just has a dominating position. Um, like, unless he's gonna tap out and let me draw a Desperate Ravings, in which case uh, he could just die. But, but other than that, he has a fairly dominating position and just stalling is fine. I like that he left the forest up there, that shows, wow, well, then he searched for an island and played a sulfur falls, which irritates me because I was going to click at this to make it go away. I guess he's going to uh, devil's playing with dissipate. Wow. Nope. He's gonna devil's play me for three too many and not leave dissipate up. Fair enough. He may not have had dissipate, who knows. So, uh, I wasn't even like drawing into a whole lot there, was I? There are some spells. Oh, let's consider our plan. Our plan should probably be to not miss a billion land drops. He's gonna have to try to kill me quickly. It's not impossible for him to kill me in six minutes or anything, but... Yeah... Like, maybe Memory's Journey and Runic Repetition are not necessary? Ah, uh, they seem fine. Let's battle. This is this is a total grind matchup, by the way, so yeah. While I'm playing the stack, I'm gonna be producing some like 40, 50 minute videos for you. Uh, this hand is actually fine, I think. Like nothing happens that quickly in this matchup, so just developing with six lands and a think twice should be absolutely fine. Even got to dissipate. I'm going to wait until his end of turn to do this. Uh, it shouldn't actually matter. I mean, if he's really like next level on me, he can memories journey this thing twice while it's in my yard. Oh, not gonna happen. Look at that. I'm just gonna play Burning Vengeance. Uh, it gives him something to deal with. It means that like. He has to break for a forest and naturalize it if he has the naturalize, or if he doesn't, I don't know, maybe he'll play a Witchbane Orb usually <laughs> faster than he usually would. He's still playing Geist Flame, look at that. That's uh, awkward. Okay, he has a Burning Vengeance back. Um, you may remember all that stuff I was saying about leaving up mana for Dissipate being suicide in this matchup. I'm not going to attempt to do that. My plan is for him to just tap out a bunch, and then I get to Dissipate. I'm pretty okay with that resolving, though. I don't even mind too much if he naturalizes my Burning Vengeance, to be honest. 
thing which he did not do. Cool. I can naturalize his, though, which I'm pretty happy about. Awkward thing about having a Burning Vengeance in play is that if Witchbane Orb resolves and lives, um, I start dealing two to myself every time I cast a flashback spell. But yeah, let's see. Might as well just do this now, I think. You know, I think the only way I lose is if he resolves a Sturmgeist out of nowhere or something. So I'm actually not going to naturalize right now. Discards a Witchbane Orb. Didn't actually mind him having that at all. Just seems very difficult for him to cast in any way that's good for him. Gonna go for one now, like I just dissipate that, untap, naturalize your burning vengeance. And he ends up a long way behind. I don't even know that dissipating it was correct, to be honest. Um I'm boarding one of those in, I don't even know that I like it. So let's uh naturalize this. I think I'd rather just leave up Dissipate than, like, Memory's Journey, Desperate Ravings, and Geist Flame. If it gives me something more enticing to Memory's Journey than copies of Geist Flame, then I'll, I'll go for it. I have another Naturalize. Ah, uh, that's actually totally fine. Interesting that he went for that, like, while I had dissipated everything up, instead of he could almost certainly have found a, a spot where I didn't have dissipate mine. Solves. Should I have boarded out Snapcasters because of his memories journeys? I don't really think so. Let's, uh, think twice. Let's think twice. I'm pretty sure just casting the stuff out of your... whatever. I, I don't actually know what point I was trying to make there. I'm pretty sure that casting the thing twice in my yard is better than casting the thing twice in my hand because of Memory's Journey, is what I was trying to say. He's just, like, not casting anything. This seems bad for him. Pretty bad. Should I hold the Witch Pain Orb until he curses me or something? God, such a bad card. I'm gonna play it now and hope that. It like draws a dissipate or a naturalize or something for some reason. There's also just a thing for him to deal with, I guess, and he has under four minutes on his clock. Oh, we have Ancient Grudge too, look at that. Uh, I could actually dissipate that and like, no. <laughs> um, evidently Witchbane Orb is a bad card to have right now against him. Just turning an ancient grudge on. Let's uh, flashback of ravings. I boarded in Geist Flame. Why did I do that? Because Devil's Play was bad? Yeah, seems right. Uh, I'm going to hit him in the face with it. Why not? He doesn't seem to be casting uh, any Snapcasters or anything, so. I would like to make a land drop. Probably playing Forbidden Alchemy would have been better. No, I actually think twice I think is better there. Mm, 
totally fine with him doing that. Did he play that island yet? He probably did at some point, right? I'm gonna give him credit and say that he did. I should have been paying better attention. Um, I tapped badly and only have one dissipate up. Seems wrong. What are you doing? Guy's flaming with a green floating? I guess. go for Devil's Play. It's uh, probably not going to work. This is still not a position that it's good to be in in this mirror for him. Wonk. Uh, let's cast Forbidden Alchemy. Well, let's take a Burning Vengeance. Why not? Here that's like what the deck's called or something. It's probably an okay card. And at this point, I'm so far ahead that I can actually just keep Dissipate up forever, I think. Let's see, he's going to cast his last card. I'm going to Dissipate that, and he's going to be Hellbent with nothing. Ooh, not good for him. Still have a Dissipate in hand. And yeah. It looks like we may just be able to kill him. We just need one turn. And then I can Devil's Play, maybe even with Dissipate up? No, not quite. But let's see, maybe he casts something right now and then I don't have to worry about leaving Dissipate up anymore. Not so kind. See, I can go for Geist Flame here, I think, right? No, I can't, probably. That was correct. Let's see, if I Geist Flame and he naturalizes, I'll have a lethal Devil's Play, right? No, I'm one short. Okay, let's not do that then. How about we hit a land drop, put some more flashback stuff in our yard? Or not, but... Should still be fine. Let's actually just miss a land drop. Do this instead. Um, he needs like his current card to be dissipate, and then he needs to draw a Witchbane Orb. Not impossible. If I give Naturalize flashback and exile it from the game, can I return it until the end of turn? Actual question. I should find that out at some point. So I bet you anything that we're the last game, uh, which means we're about to go straight into the next round. I hope you guys enjoyed round one, and I will see you in a couple of minutes for round two. Yes, I, I do think he's dead here. <laughs> That's why I'm winding it up. Unless he has something good. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.